Hello everyone, this is Kali from NCS. We are training center located here in Toronto, Canada, and we are specialized in Microsoft Dynamics Business Central training. Today we are going to discuss very important topic, uh, which uh, is uh, crucial to every accountant that is working in purchases or even in in sales, uh, invoices, or purchase and payables, or um, sales and receivables. So it's a crucial, uh, crucial uh, point that we are talking about today, which is how we can adjust the tax amount. For example, let me give you an example. You, you are working in purchases, and you are accountant in the purchasing department. And you got an invoice from one vendor, from one of your vendors, but you see like the invoice that you got from your your vendor has a tax amount, for example, $24.99. But if you do the purchase invoice in Business Central, it will calculate the tax, for example, $25. So there's a small difference because of rounding, like for example, if it is one cent or if it is two cents difference because of rounding, you cannot, you, you know, you have to adjust it in Business Central as well. So today we are going to discuss how we can adjust the tax amount in sales and purchase documents before posting and the same, the same idea for journals. So this question was requested from me a lot recently for new users mainly of Business Central because you know that everyone now these days is upgrading to Business Central. They are switching to Business Central from other systems or maybe from NAV to Business Central and they did not have to use this before. They were doing this like manually and so today we are, I'm going to show you how you can adjust this tax amount if there's rounding issue in the tax amount. So let me, before we do that, introduce myself here. So we are NCS Training Center located in Toronto, Canada, and this is my contact information. If you have any questions or if you have any requests for any of the training courses, you can drop me an email or you can call me and these are the training courses that we offer to our clients like uh, all these courses we offer of them we offer them to our clients or to any to any individual ex, uh, consultant if they require training and today we are going to discuss the uh, rounding uh, of the taxes issue which is covered in this course the financial essential course this will be covered in the financial essentials course. So let me jump to the topic directly. So again, you got an invoice from a vendor and the invoice that you got from the, the vendor, it says the taxes is $24.99. You did the purchase invoices. You did not post the purchase invoice, but it's showing $25, not $24.99. So you have to do a few setup to be able to, to have Business Central accept this difference. The first setup that you have to do is to go to purchases, to purchases and payables setup and to go to allow tax differences. To allow tax difference. It depends on your local version of Business Central. Maybe you are using different uh, local version than this. So the field that you are looking for is allow VAT difference or allow tax difference. So you have to enable this field. If you enable this field, it will allow you to change the tax amount. You will see later that you can change the tax amount uh, within a threshold within certain amount. So this is the first setup that you have to take care of. The purchases and payable setup. This is the field allow that difference. So this is number one. Number two, you have to go to the 
general ledger setup to the max tax difference allowed or max VAT difference allowed. Now here you have to put the per, uh, the difference allowed, you know, the maximum amount allowed of difference. You know, for example, here in this example, I put five cents difference allowed. You can put 10 cents, you can put three cents, you can put only one cent. So it's up to the controller that will decide, okay, you accountant, you can adjust the tax amount within this threshold that I have to put here. And I'm putting here, for example, three cents. So you have to stay within this um, within this amount, three cents or five cents or whatever. So this is the other setup that you have to take care of. The general ledger setup, the max VAT difference allowed. Now I did the setup that is necessary. Now the step after to go to the purchase invoice to the statistics page, you click on statistics and you will be able to change the VAT amount or the tax amount here on the line. You see the lines here. It will accept changing this amount for from $25, for example, 24.99, as long as it is within the uh, value allowed. So you see, this is why the other setup is very important also. I'm going to show you this in the application as well, but it's very simple and very straightforward. So let me go to Business Central here and let me go to, uh, I'm clicking here on Cronus Canada to go to the home page. Okay, so the first step is I will search for purchase and payable setup. This is the purchase and payable setup. And you see, this is the field allow tax difference. As I mentioned to you, maybe it's called differently from uh, in your local version, because here we are using Cross Canada and we are using the North America version. So it's called allow tax difference. And I enabled that field. This is number one. Step number one is done. Purchase and payable setup. I enabled the field, which means that you can or the system will accept will accept uh, uh, the tax difference now. Now let me go back here and use the search again, and I will search for general ledger setup. General. My system is not responding some for some reason. I'll try again. So the step after will be defining the maximum amount for the taxes. So I will go to the GL setup or general ledger setup and here you will be able to see the tax diff invoice renaming threshold the threshold for the tax invoice renaming so this field I put it as 10 cents you can put it as five cents for example you see this is the second step now the last step would be to go to the purchase invoice here i can go to the purchase invoice and i have to open one of the purchase invoices 
and from invoice i go to statistics 